A question I was asked is, can you prioritize integrity, compassion, generosity in business and still be financially successful? And I thought that was such a good question because the answer is not immediately obvious because the bad guys seem to win first. And speaking of rascals, <laughs> here is Mango, my cat. He always likes to say hi. I swear I've been working all, all morning and he hasn't jumped up until it's time to you know get on camera. Then he's like, yes, this is my chance to be internet uh, cat famous. So the reason why this answer is not obvious, why you can't prioritize virtues and values and being a great person in business and still be financially successful, why that's not obvious is because, like I said, the bad guys win first in the short term. And the good guys, so good guys, don't, I, I really don't believe the good guys win first. I mean, just based on my own experiences, and based on what I've seen out there, the good guys, what the good guys, what happens is that the bad guys win first because the bad guys use deceit, manipulation, kind of all kinds of tactics to make you feel desperate to buy something. They use scarcity to uh, get you to, oh, you know, you, you got to buy this or else you're going to be, you're going to be a failure. You're going to, you know, whatever they, they, they kind of marketing they use to make you feel bad unless you buy something or like last chance for a 90% discount. It's ridiculous. I mean, 90% discount on something. What, when the reality is they typically sell it only at the 90% discount. That's most of their sales. That's something they don't tell you. Right. Or the fear of missing out or other tactics that basically fuel human desperation and greed. And it's just not good for the, personal development, personal growth and spiritual development of humanity. Okay. And the marketers that don't have a, that aren't listening to their conscience use these kinds of tactics to make sales quickly. And so the bad guys win first, because if all things were equal, if, if, if you have the same exact product as a marketer who doesn't care what tactics he is using, that marketer will win first. You have the same product. You are using authentic marketing. They are using manipulative marketing. Of course, they're going to win first because the consumers want to believe. They want to believe the hype and they can't help but be manipulated by the tactics. So, of course, the bad guys will win first. We'll get the sales before you do. However, once the consumers have bought the product and continue to experience the service from the bad guys, they'll realize, oh, these guys don't really care about me. They don't really care. They just, they prioritize the money, they make everything sound so good, but they don't really care. And so the bad guys win first, but they don't get the word of mouth marketing that you, the authentic marketer, does in the, in the mid to long term. But you've got to be patient. You've got to be willing to be patient. And this is why I say, please try not to build a business on financial desperation. If you're building a business on financial stress, you will be easily, you know, much more likely to believe the bad guys and you end up buying programs that hype you up on, oh, make six figures in 30 days or whatever it may be. And it's not, maybe not that ridiculous, but, but not that far from it. You know, building a business on financial stress and desperation creates the tendency to start using manipulative and you know scarcity type of tactics because you yourself feel scarce. Okay, now you, you say, well, George, I, I do need make, to make money and I don't want to use those tactics. Then what's my option? The option is to be a good guy. However, you need to work more diligently than the bad guys. I'm sorry to say it. You see the, the thing about, well, this is the, the ancient story that's still true today and will forever be true is the tortoise and the hare. It's really the same story, right? The hare seems to be winning first because it runs faster, but it is, you know, distracted and, um, you know, kind of going all around, you know, not use in other words, in our language, in our, uh, conversation here. The hare is the manipulative marketer 
who is using tactics that are very short term. Okay. And the tortoise is you and me who says, you know what? I am in this for the long haul. I'm in this not to cheat people, not to lie to people, but I'm in this to really, and not to degrade my values and my, and my, and my pursuit of virtue in business. Okay. So as an authentic business and authentic marketer, the rewards you get is ongoing. The, the manipulators, okay, the rewards, they're really just bent on the profits and the numbers. That's what they're really going for. And that's what gets them the high. Oh God, I made a lot of sales. That's awesome. Let's do it again. Let's do another launch using the same tactics as before. Okay. But we, the authentic businesses, we get emotionally fulfilled at every step of the way because one, we know we're doing good in the world. Number two is as we are diligent about connecting with our audience, about caring, caring more than the manipulators are willing to care, our audience says thank you. Thank you for the authentic and helpful content. Thank you for that. I'm not ready to buy from you yet, but thank you, okay? And then when they're ready to buy, they will buy, they will buy because they are ready to buy, not because you're pressured them into it, and they will spread the word because they are now so excited to be financially supporting you now to buy using the product that they've been looking forward to, and marketing gets easier and easier and easier over time. So yes, in the beginning, the manipulators have it easy, but in the end, not just in the end, but but it's kind of like in the in the beginning, the man, manipulators have it easy with their marketing, but it gets harder and harder for them because fewer and fewer people trust them and their own conscience is going to make it harder and harder for them to keep going. The reason I can say this is because I was one of them. I didn't know any better because I was learning from them. The first five years of my business, I was a manipulative marketer. That's what I did because I thought that's what you had to do. You had to use scarcity tactics. You have to use hype. You have to only give teasers and not the full thing in your free. I wouldn't do this free content. And, you, know, you didn't see my videos and articles five years ago, five years ago and before. I've been in business 10 years now, five years as a manipulator, five years trying to learn, figure out how to be authentic and how to really be the self that I want to be in the world, right? But if you look back at my content, there was nothing before 20, you know, 2014, 2013. You don't find anything from me it's except teasers. Okay, so, so uh, the manipulators have it easy in the beginning and it gets harder and harder for them and then they eventually crash and they just don't know what to do because they haven't built a real audience. Us authentic marketers, in the beginning it's kind of hard to be honest with you. I think that's true with any worthwhile effort. In the beginning it's kind of hard in terms of marketing, but you can hopefully find some comfort in Maybe my videos will give you some comfort knowing that you are doing the right thing and that when you connect with people one-to-one, -one, they feel like, wow, you, you're different. You actually care and you're actually authentic. You're, you're real. Okay, so the beginning is a little bit harder and then it gets easier and easier. Promise me. I can tell you this because right now I've already – things are so much easier for me now, honestly. Like I don't have to do very much and you all buy my buy – my, not you all, but many of you buy my courses. I don't have to do very much more. I just whisper. And then you buy. Well, it's because it's getting easier and easier for me because I've built an audience that trusts me now, that 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 know I care about them. I hope you know I care about you, you know. And I, I try to, to demonstrate that through my content, through my interactions with you, through my private messages or whatever responding to you. You know, I, I try to care as much as I can. So um, it gets easier and it gets more fun, and it's like faith. You you just have to believe. You have to trust the process and find the rewards in the daily actions of, of caring through your content and caring through the connections. And if you are willing to do that, you will build a business that you really, really love. And you'll never have to use those manipulation, all that manipulative tactics, right? Anyway, thanks for those of you who were able to join me live. Stacy and Shweta, thank you. Linda, Lindsay. Captain, thank you so much. Let's see. Um, so uh, the bottom line is that 
if you want to build a business from the foundation of spirit, from the foundation of a higher set of values, from the pursuit of virtues, you absolutely can. It is about integrity. It's about compassion. It's about generosity. But it's also, don't, don't forget, it's also about diligence. You can, okay, so it's also about focused empathy. So I'll just talk a little about that and I'll end the video here. If you are only thinking about integrity, compassion, generosity, a lot of you are very heart-based people. And the, 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 the thing you're not putting in maybe is as much diligence as, as would you need to make it work, but also focused empathy. So let me talk about these things. Diligence means that you don't just show up when you feel like it. Okay, so George, I, I'm such a compassionate person. I, I just try to help everybody and I just go by, by, by my inspiration. How come I'm not making any money? Well, it's because you, you, you're trying to build a business based on spirit, but spirit is also based on, spirit is also about diligence, right? It's, all, it's also about responsibility. It's also about showing up when you don't feel like showing up. That's spirit. Spirit is calling you to say, overcome the flesh, right? The flesh, the, the, the ego mind, the, this body wants to give in to fear and give in to lack of, you know, lack of courage, like give in to lack of inspiration, give in to you know, eating potato chips on the couch, playing video games. That's what I want to do. Eating popcorn and great. Yeah, like the flesh. Yeah, this, I want to just eat potato chips, popcorn, watch Netflix, play video games, sit on the couch and hope that spirit will hope that God will send me some money. Okay. But spirit is calling you not only to integrity, compassion and generosity. Spirit is calling you to responsibility and diligence to say, get up from that couch and turn on the camera or put your pen to paper and write, speak share what you think is important in the world to say what's not being said enough or what hasn't been said in your voice. Yes, everything has been said. Someone, people tell me all the time, George, everything's been said. Everything I want to say has already been said by smarter people, by more charismatic people, by more beautiful and handsome people. Of course, everything's, everything I'm saying has been said. No, how many times have you heard integrity, compassion, diligence? It's been said a billion times today probably on YouTube, right? On Facebook, on Instagram. But I haven't said it today. And you haven't heard me say it today. And so what about your message? I haven't heard you say it today. So you need to say whatever's been said a billion times, but we, if it's important, we still need to hear it today. Got it? Diligence is what's missing from this piece of being building a heart-based business, not just integrity, compassion, generosity, of course, but diligence about showing up when you don't feel like it. I didn't feel like making this video. I never feel like making these videos, to be honest with you. Honestly, I never feel like making these, but I just turn on the camera and I do my energy reboot and I say, you know, please speak through me. Let me be a blessing uh, to those who are going to watch this. And I just turn it on and see what happens. I didn't feel like it. I show up. Diligence is one of those. And then, and then the final thing, integrity, compassion, generosity, yes, that probably comes easy to you. Diligence come, is not easy for any of us. And then finally, focused empathy is also not easy for those of us who care because we want to care for everybody. We want to help everybody who asks us for help. But you need, and that's fine when you are, not doing your business when you are not working during the weekends and evenings or whenever you rest, help anybody you want to help. But when you're working on your business, you need focused empathy. You need to think about who is, is really going through the kinds of problems I want to help. Okay. And you're going to find out more and more as you connect with your audience and fans, do the fan interviews that I've talked about before. As you connect with them, you'll learn more about who are they? You've got to understand your audience. Who are they? What are they buying that's within my field? And what product or service could I create that's more connected, that's more authentic, that helps them better than what they're already buying out there? That's focused empathy that leads to a sustainable business. So, yes, 
the good guy, the good gal can win because of these of these things without using manipulation. Yes, manipulation makes sales in the short term. Of course it does. You have, I'm sure you've bought many things. You may, may have spent hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars on companies that manipulated or people that manipulated you and used hype to get you to buy stuff. Yes, that money is maybe lost. I've spent tens of, I spent $30,000 before I learned how to be authentic with, with all the manip manipulative market. I spent $30,000 with them. Okay, fine. The money is lost. And now I spend money on the authentic businesses, hopefully. So um, I hope this is helpful. Remember to keep the faith. Be yourself. Be your best self that you want to be in the world. But show up even when you don't feel like it. Because then you'll, you'll learn to keep doing that. You'll build the muscles of showing up consistently. And remember the focused empathy of connecting with your audience. Learning what they really need from you and really want from you what they're buying and how can you create something that's even better than what they're buying. And of course, as you build a relationship with them, as you build a relationship with your audience, the part that's better than what they're buying is, I want to buy it, but I want to buy it from you. I don't care if your, your marketing is not as slick. I don't care if your branding is not as good. I don't care if you're, the, the, you know, really, you buy my courses not because they look amazing. You could have bought it from somebody else that, you know, you could have bought it from Marie Forleo or, you know, Frank Kern or Brendan Burchard or Bill Barron or whoever else that makes the marketing look better. But you buy it from me, even though my marketing is not as good because you trust me. So, so when you build that relationship with the audience, that's what happens. They'll, they'll rather buy it from you if you offer something they want to buy. But you got to offer something they want. You can't just say, well, I, you trust me, so buy whatever I, I'm selling you. No, you got to offer something they want to buy, which means the diligence of connection with your audience. That's part of the diligence. The diligence in your content and the diligence in your connecting with your audience members. Does that make sense? So it works, and thank you, Yule, for joining me as well here on the live uh, video. And um, anyway, I'll let you go. Uh, show up in your content, show up in your connections, and you will build a business that you love, truly. And the marketing gets easier and easier over time. I promise you that's true. Be well. Take care.